the Michigan man, Jake Moody, to get us started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A big hole there. How about him handling the point of attack? Just positioning himself so that run could go right off of his backside and deep into the secondary. And a good burst there gets him seven to midfield. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I will run the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum. And now you're seeing the field really well. That one good for 26 and a first down. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Pacheco gets it again on second down. It'll only be a gain of a yard, and it sets up a third down at four now. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped it. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. They'll run here with Pacheco. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Cat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pick up on the ground on first and goal. Now here's Mahomes. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. And this will be play number 10 on this pretty long opening drive. Here's third and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes rolling to his left to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield, but when push came to shove, they stood their ground, and now they'll likely force a field goal attempt. Yellow, no yellow. movement from the field goal unit. They've got four three, full three, yards three, 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 three. to go here on fourth and goal to hit Pater, but they're going to go yellow, for it. Yellow. Now Mahomes. touchdown ground and the Chiefs decision to go for it pays off with six points many would call that a gutsy decision here early on to go for it fourth and goal there was no hesitation field goal unit never sniffed the field it was a message 
And the message was, I trust you on offense. Go out and make this happen. Go ahead and pick it up. You know what else he said? I trust my defense as well. They don't get it. I know you're going to hold them. So it's a message to your entire team that you believe in them. Valdez Scantling in motion right. Mahomes will throw for it. It's caught. And it's 8-0. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8-0. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Purdy connects with Kittle underneath. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. From the shotgun to McCaffrey, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, 49ers. Juwan Jennings, 47 yards. And the 49ers have cut the lead back down to two. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, right after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. They'll look to throw. Steps away. And they don't get it. They try for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. They're down only one score, still first half, but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. That second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. Mahomes now on first down. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. Here's a second and eight. Mahomes now to throw. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantlin. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Getting it to him in space pays off big time. That winds up going for 31. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Snap coming at one, and it's Mahomes on the move to his left. And he's going to go down. 
sacked right around the 17. Going to need better protection here. Third and long following the sack from Mahomes and company. 43, 43. 50, 50. 50, 50, 50, 50. 50, 50. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. From 17 yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. They'll try and throw for it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. It's interesting that when it comes to two-point conversions, even heavy run teams tend to throw the ball in these situations. In this case, this one was intercepted. Yeah, they weren't fooled. They were ready for the pass, picked it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Oh, good-looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, 49ers. That was a special return, and it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest. A lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong. Sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? You're exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. And if you do, you're taking out some responsibility. But he was happy to do so there. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Attack, attack! In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Throwing his Mahomes on third. And incomplete on a deep ball. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll try and throw for it here. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward inside the 20. And it's a tremendous return as they finally get him at about the 10-yard line. Let's go now. 
Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Again, McCaffrey. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half. Half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused oh, trying to complete passes. Mahomes will try again on second down. Catch is made by Hardman. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Now it's Mahomes again. Open man here, it's the tight end, Kelsey. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. On first down, Mahomes. And he can't quite bring it in. Might have heard footsteps there across the middle. Second down. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Mahomes to throw on second down. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Marquez Valdez scaling, bringing in that one from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. going to throw. And that is caught for the two points. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on it. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Ready. 
The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this. And now off to the races, down the right side. Samuel in the final seconds of the first half. And the Niners have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Got right back to it. And look, long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to him, a big time one. Yeah, one play, but now your defense is probably saying, man, we could have used a little more rest over here. <laughs> so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. But no run back here, fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with Mahomes under center, anything's possible. Watch out for the deep ball. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Shot before the half from Mahomes. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Everything here, we're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to have a Niners first down as good running gets him to about the 44. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. 
And some pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter. There he goes, left side. And he'll get this all the way down to the Chiefs 11. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. Debo Samuel, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the 49ers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Moody good with the extra point and the lead now up to 14. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge in opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like in a heavy traffic and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go play action here, Purdy. And that one into the hands of Ayuk downfield. Touchdown 49ers! Brandon Ayuk, 37 yards. And the 49ers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Chiefs, 22. Jake Moody to kick off for the 49ers. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start taking it right down Broadway. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Now Mahomes to the line as the Chiefs are going to go for the two-point try. They'll bring a tight end in motion. Throwing now is Mahomes. 
And he'll get in for the score. And that's going to cut the lead down to 13. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. McCaffrey on the counter. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Taken down at the 43 yard line. 10 yards on the pickup. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 120 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now it's second and ten. McCaffrey running up the middle. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Nick Burton. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. So that changes things. You get the interception and then to boot a good return tacked on. And really it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return. And that's one you would think the defender would win. But a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. Meanwhile, the home throw taken in by Valdez Scantling. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust. And unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. Now Purdy. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. 
And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Purdy with it on third and long. That is caught. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. San Francisco. Play action, now Purdy sliding out of the pocket. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. And they're going to speed things up here. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Purdy to throw again on second and ten. This one caught by Kittle. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the 49ers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Purdy off the play fake. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now on first down, it's Purdy. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work in exchange of running plays, keep the clock moving, keep them moving. Yeah, I guess you're right. If they can get some first downs, just as good as running the football. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And 
this will be caught. Well, forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL.